Welcome everyone. I wanted to show you a project I created using ChatGPT. It's basically a textual game where you can make your own choices based on a story that ChatGPT provides you. So you can choose your own genre, your character, character name, items, and uh, design is done all by me, so please don't judge. And let me quickly walk you through one story. So I'm going to click choose your story and I'm going to pick fantasy genre. And of course, I'm going to choose an orc because this is an org dev channel after all. My name is going to be Golmar. I love Golmar as an orcish name. And then I have to pick a story. So there are a bunch of stories. They're generated but by ChatGPT, but not generated each time I come here. They're basically hard coded. So I'm going to choose leading an army against an invading force. After that, I have items and I'm just going to pick a sword and my story is being generated. Let's see what are we going to get. I find myself standing at the entrance of a vast forest. The air is filled with a sense of anticipation as you take in the sight of your army behind you. Okay, so basically in my hand I grip a sword and I need to do something now. So what we have here is we can put in manually what are we going to do and the magic of this is that we can put whatever we like so we can basically now run behind or just attack or we can pick choices that are given by ChatGPT always two choices so it is giving us head deeper into the forest to gather intelligence or hold a council with your trusted advisors to discuss battle strategy so first, we are going to do something manually. I'm going to ask my tribal leader what foe are we facing. So let's see what is my tribal leader going to say. So I approach my tribal leader, Graktar, a wise and ancient orc who has guided your people for many genera generations. And what does he say is that we are revealing the defending force is a coalition of dark elves and goblins led by a powerful sorcerer named Zargot. They seek to claim your lands for their own, driven by a lust for power and a desire to dominate all the realms. Okay, that doesn't sound good at all. So let's just ask Grak what is Zargot's weakness? Let's see what is Graktar going to say. So, if he knows any weaknesses that Zargot may have, the old orc ponders for a moment before revealing that Zargot's power lies in his mastery of dark magic. But every sorcerer has a vulnerability. So, the vulnerability of Zargot is his enchanted amulet, so his power is coming from an enchanted amulet and it would weaken his abilities significantly if the amulet were to be destroyed. Okay, so let's now test it out a little bit. This is like a linear approach of the story, so let's try out to test the ChatGPT. What can we really do? So let's try to ask him something really silly. Let's try ask the mighty orcish god, orc dev, to teleport the amulet to me. Let's see what are we going to get. Is this going to work? So I kneel before a crude altar dedicated to Orc Dev and the mighty Orcish god of strength and valor. What is he going to do? As you pray, a gust of wind sweeps through the forest, steering the leaves and carrying your plea to the heavens. Moments later, you feel a surge of energy cursing through your veins, a sign that your god has heard your call. With a renewed determination, you rise from your knees, ready to face the enemy head on. Well, we got nothing. Let's just attack direct attack to Zargot's camp 
and after this we can check the code how this works so with the amulet now in your possession oh so i have the amulet nice you lead your army towards zargot's camp and the heart of the enemy's stronghold the sound of marching boots and the clanking of armor etc etc and they're unaware what is going to happen to them so let's check how this works in code so entire project is built in next.js and the core thing is using the OpenAI, GPT, and the lang chain. So you can check how to build the ChatGPT function in the link above. And lang chain is a package that is doing the conversation chain for the project. So basically, I had a problem how to save everything, like the whole history of my stories. So I was saving like in, and sending to the ChatGPT every time what happened. But this was an easy way to just have everything and ChatGPT always knows what I did in my previous turns. Next big thing is the story creator class where we are creating a prompt out of our selection of character, character name, story and everything that you saw. So here ChatGPT is acting as a dungeon master. We are sending him this prompt. It's quite big and He's returning us a response in the JSON format that we are asking here. And based on that, we have a story, choices, and everything like our genre, our character name, and whatever we chose. And this one is for next level. And thanks to Lang Chain, ChatGPT always knows what happened in our previous levels. To quickly show you that, I'm going to console log my base prompt here and now i'm just going to refresh my screen and go to one quick game and now when we check the console we can see the base prompt here so you're a dungeon master running a text-based game with a player and begin the mystery genre text-based game story with two choices so we can now see that my character name is life frost hammer and the inventory is we have a shovel. So when we see now what we got from this story. Okay, so it's quite a big story. I'm not going to read everything. But I am Leif Frosthammer, a vampire who has grown tired of tyrannical rule imposed by the immortal emperor. With this kind of chat GPT setup, you basically don't have duplicated stories. Every story is unique and you are never going to play the same story again. This project is actually live on textualgames.com and you can guys go and check it out for free. And if you'd like more content like this, just subscribe to this channel.